The heading is not to say that some people are smart while conversing and that others are just plain stupid. That would be a gross generalization. But perception says that some people who converse in a smart manner are more aware and confident. And we believe that you must have a way of coming across as someone who is smart, creative and sure of themselves. These following sentences are some of the ways of starting or continuing an informed and interesting conversation that is not only a pleasure to others but of great interest to you. 1. That is such a great pin, ring, pen, etc. By starting with a comment on something personal, you can often know more about the other person. This forays into the personal space without being too intrusive but at the same time it's a positive note to start conversation with. And who knows you might just stumble upon a great story. 2. Do you know which way the bar, room, office, water cooler is? By asking a question, you make sure that the other person is compelled to answer. And once you start conversation, it can just flow based on how you approach it. Asking for assistance is the best option if you want someone to help you out and get to know you. 3. Can I help you with that bag, door, dog? By offering to help someone, you will always come across as a friendly and kind person. Obviously, you must be aware that another person might just be wary of you initially and that you shouldn't force your presence on them. But if someone is having a hard day, a hand is always appreciated. 4. What's your reaction to that act, bill, play? You can start conversation by asking about the other's opinion on things. Of this some will be of importance to them, they will care about certain things and talk more about them. If you also have a view on the topic, then the talking gets easier and easier. This method also requires you to have knowledge and opinions about things around you. 5. Hey! Don't you know John, my cousin, that doctor? In this age of Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and Twitter, to start conversation of any kind you only need to check for mutual friends. This will not only give you an opening line, but will give you an idea about the circles the other person hangs out in. After all, often some conversations are not worth pursuing. 6. Do you by any chance hail from, your school, town, hobby class? Not only mutual friends or social networks present you with a cursory glance into a person's surroundings. If you have certain similarities in your school, interests or place of belonging, you will have a wide range of topics to cover and even have the opportunity to reminisce. This can be the best to start conversation about pasts and look into the future. 7. Your blog, music, art is really interesting. Without praising another to the skies, it is a good sign to show interest and communicate your opinion about their profession or hobbies. You must emotionally as well as creatively be invested in another to have a meaningful conversation about their creative bent of mind. You must make sure that your compliments are sincere and say something more than being mere exaltation. 8. I have a lucrative opportunity for you. By following up on a person's interests and background, you can start conversation by providing an opportunity to another person. This opportunity can be something as small as asking them to teach your nephew softball or commissioning a painting from them. By feeling useful or important allows another person meet you shoulder to shoulder in the art of conversation. 9. Something really embarrassing happened to me the other day. While not only asking questions, you must also offer more insight about yourself. By telling your story and trying to come across as an honest person, be it plain, exciting or just you, you will let another know that you are open to new people and new experiences. 10. This is to toast my best friend, boss, new couple. You must hone your public speaking skills to be able to communicate with a room full of people and one single person alike. By being confident and using humor as an accompaniment, you can win not only one but every heart in the room. And we believe that that is never a bad thing.